This is English ivy, different from your poison ivy you get in the States and other places and it has lots and lots of uses. It's been used throughout history for different herbal remedies. Today we're going to use it to wash our clothes with. As you can see the ivy that's growing here on the ground has very pointed leaves. And that's sort of at the early stage of growth. As it goes up the trees, the leaf shape will change. Okay, so here we have um, an ivy growing up this beautiful oak tree. As you can see, as it grows up the tree, the leaf shape changes and is a lot rounder. Now ivy contains saponins and it's those saponins that make it soapy. So we need to collect about 80 leaves. Now we're not going to collect them all from this ivy because that would damage the ivy and we don't want to do that. Now a lot of people think that ivy will damage the tree and they cut the ivy off the tree. It doesn't actually hurt the tree at all. It's using the tree for support, but that's it. Now if the tree was old or is damaged and there's a lot of weight of ivy in the canopy, that might cause a problem. But generally speaking, it's not doing any harm. So leave it growing up the trees and then you can use the leaves for your soap. So I'm gonna collect a few more leaves and then we'll take them back to the house and make them into some soap. Okay, so here we are in our makeshift kitchen and what you need to do now is you need to take a litre of water and you need to take your ivy leaves and rip them up into little bits, put them in a saucepan. Now I reckon that you probably want a stainless steel saucepan just to be on the safe side and try to use one that you don't use for food just in case because ivy is poisonous so once you've ripped up all of your ivy leaves and put them in your saucepan pour the water on and boil it for about 20 minutes Once the mixture's cool, you need to strain it. So I'm going to strain it through the sieve here. Hopefully this is going to work. I have to say, I did notice it didn't smell particularly nice when it was boiling. So hopefully it won't be too bad. But it might be an idea to maybe add some essential oil. Or something just to make your laundry smell nicer so this is the liquid that comes out of that I'll give those a squeeze in a minute and then put it in a jar and you need about 200 milliliters of this per washing machine load of washing so we're going to adjust that for a small piece to do as a trial piece so here's the next stage of our laundry detergent experiment and as you can see here is our ivy leaf laundry detergent and if I give it a shake you can see hopefully it's got loads of bubbles so that should work to break up any dirt and oils in the fabric we're going to test it and compare it to some Ecova laundry detergent and to just water, just to see how effective it is. And we'll let you know. Okay, so now we're ready to test our IV soap. So what I've done is I've got some test pieces here and put some 
stains on them. So we've got uh, grass, ash, mud, tomato puree, and oil. So this is going to be our control. So we're going to keep that nice and dry and we'll see how well they do. In each of these pots, I've got a pint of warm water. So I've done half a pint of hot water, topped it up with half a pint of cold water. So we've got the same temperature and the same amount of water in each one of these. Then, obviously, when you use something like Ecova or an, any other laundry detergent, you're doing a whole wash, maybe four or five kilograms. We're not doing that amount, so we're not going to use the same amount of liquid as you would normally use in the wash. So we're just going to use a teaspoonful. So this one's just going to have water in it. This is the Ecova, so a teaspoonful of the Ecova in there. That's about half the recommended amount for a full wash. Give that a stir. Now, the recommended amount for the Ivy soap is 200 millilitres for a 45 kilogram wash. So half of that is obviously 100 ml. So you see, we get about roughly 100 ml, and a little bit more. Just check that. Yep. So that goes in the ivy soap. And then we're going to put each of these in. The water one goes in first. And then I'm going to have one hand for the ecova and the other for the ivy. We'll try and give each one of them a stir around. try to do is to um, speed this bit up so the ivy soap is definitely going soapy let's have a look at what the water's done so so far you can see the water has had some effect Over. Again, it started to have some effect. It had a particularly good effect on the tomato puree. And let's have a look at the ivy soap. Well, so far that's not looking too bad, is it? I'll carry on with the wash and then we'll hang them out to dry. And when they're dry, we'll have a look to see which one's done the best. Are the results of our English Ivy laundry detergent test. Now if you remember we did a test piece here with some stains on it and this is our control. Let's compare it first of all with just water. The water hasn't done too badly. It hasn't got too much of the grass stain out but it's got some of the ash and the mud has come out. The tomato has come out and you can still see the oil stain down here. So it hasn't done too badly, but could be better. Now let's compare this with the Ecova. Now, as you can see here, the Ecova has done pretty well. It's got most of the grass stain out 
and most of the ash. There's still some of the mud here. There's a tiny little bit of the tomato stain and we can still see some of the oil but it's done really really well particularly with the grass. Now's the moment of truth. How is our ivy laundry detergent done? Here's the ivy. Again it's got most of the grass out. Hasn't done as well as the ecover on that but not too bad. It's got all of the ash out, all of the mud, all of the tomato and some of the oil which I was really surprised at. So in conclusion what have we found out? Well the ivy laundry detergent definitely does work. It's not as good overall as the ecover but obviously this one's free. The ecover is also a concentrated liquid so to improve the ivy one maybe we need a hotter wash maybe we need more ivy leaves in our concentrate so that's something we might try again in the future i would definitely have another go at doing the ivy laundry detergent i'd be interested to see how it works in the washing machine obviously we don't have a washing machine so i'll have to borrow one now the other thing we found out is our laundry detergent made from english ivy we put in a jar with a lid like this. Now the problem with this was after a couple of days it started to ferment and it blew the lid off. So I'd advise you to use a screw top lid and maybe it keeps it all in place then. Um, I don't know how that's affected its ability to clean. Maybe we'll try it again in a couple of weeks and see. Definitely something worth trying. Um, I'd be really interested to know what you think of IV laundry detergent, whether you've had a go at making it and how well it's worked for you. So please um, comment down below and like and subscribe and share our videos so that we can grow our channel and more people can get to know about our modern homesteading techniques. Thanks for watching, hope you had fun and learnt something. See you again soon. Bye.